All right, so finally back, like, uh, posting battles. This isn't a home PK Hex or the Discord. Um, uh, basically, um, this is a draft league battle. Uh, if you're not familiar with draft leagues, they're basically you get a bunch of players together, they draft mines, and they make teams with them, and they go against each other. And this is my buddy Darian's draft league. It, um, I unfortunately didn't have the time to play, but I mean, he's got some great battlers involved, and He's a great guy himself, like organizing all this. But um, all I'm doing is basically they're sending me replays as they feel, and I'm kind of giving some commentary and kind of like evaluating them like step by step through like the whole process of the battle. But um, it's Vegas Corviknights, and you got the I'm guessing that St. Louis Seizures. Um, and usually for draft leagues, if you're familiar with them or not, um. Usually there's like some counter team involved because like you're kind of limited. So you got to kind of like maximize what you can to kind of do with your opponent's team. So it'll be kind of, it might be a little difficult to kind of evaluate what exactly sets they might be running. But um, here goes, Um, basically looks like four Corver Knights. He's got Chomp, Tornadus, Slowbro, Tangrowth, Florgus, and Toxtricity. And just looking at the team, um, and just what can be possible. I mean, Guard Chomp's his only rock setter. And then he's got like the solid regenerate well, triple regenerator core with uh Tornadus, Slowbro, and Tangrove. How he got that in the draft league, I have no idea, but I mean, that's pretty good. Um you got Florgus, great special wall, and then you got Toxicity, low key. Um, and then for Seizures, he's got Manetric. And I'm guessing, I didn't mention this before, this is AG. So that's why you see all these mons that are here that aren't in Swish. And so that's probably Mega Manetric. This is probably, since he's got Manetric for speed, this might be, this might be Bandit. And then you got Exadrill. And if you notice, you have Sandaconda here. So Sandaconda might be a Sand Inducer and also his Rocker. And then Exadrill is just like Sand or us to abuse everything. Then you got Weezing. That could be his defogger since both of these can get rid of hazard control. I mean, hazards. And then Keldeo is probably like, mm, maybe specs or like maybe common set. But I mean, here goes. I mean, judging from it, they'll probably lead with like maybe their rock setters just to get them up. I mean, probably see Garchomp come out and then maybe him countering would probably be like Keldeo or something. But here goes. All right, so he went slow row and Manetric. All right, so Manetric is probably going to Mega Evolve. And then, yeah, Florish just tanks up hit. So that's that's the best switch. He's probably going to click Volt Switch. I don't even went for HP Ice. Yeah, that move's available in AG. Um, guess who's expecting the Garchomp switch in? But, I mean, Florish is the best switch in because it can tank pretty much anything for Manetric. And then Sandaconda, since... Okay, so it's Sand Spit. So Sand's up now. Um. He's probably going to go into his wheezing to try to tank a, um, a Moonblast. But then he goes Tangrowth, he goes Exdrill, and Exdrill cannot break past um, Tangrowth. So he's got to switch out, and that thing's probably carrying knockoff. <laughs> yep, carrying knockoff, knocked off Weezing's Black Sludge. And so, I mean, Weezing can be carrying Sludge Bomb, so or Sludge Wave, whichever one it is. He goes in Toxtricity. Okay, so he sets up Toxic Spice. Okay, that's good. Especially for a Generator Core, like he has. Um, toxic Spikes is pretty good. But, I mean, he's got um, Toxtricity to absorb that. Okay, he went for a Boom Blast. I mean, Boom Burst. And even though it resists, I mean, Exodro can't keep switching into those. Goes back to Tox uh, Tangrowth, which, I mean, see, he just tanks that EQ. So, Exodro has to come out. Or else he just wears himself out. But I mean, this is prime opportunity for another knockoff. Okay, he goes um, Giga Drain. I personally would have went for knockoff just because, I mean, it gets rid of that item and possibly slows down Darm. But I mean, because I mean, Giga Drain, since he's a regenerator, it's, it probably wouldn't have been needed too much. Slowbro is a slot, solid switch in for Darm. He clicks U turn to get out of that switch advantage, goes back to Manetric, and probably going to see this same game of going back into floor gets the tank hits and went for tox okay 
And the same thing, Tox can't really keep taking resisted hits either. Ooh, I'm not sure if that crit mattered, but um, yeah, losing Manetric here was pretty big. All right, so he goes Darm, probably click U-turn again. Oh, no, he goes Icicle Crash. Okay, so now he's got to switch out. Um, probably going to go into his um, Weezing. Yeah, that's a safe switch in. Teleport, which is like the best move in the game right now. He sends out his toxicity. Probably clicks Boom Burst again. I mean, like he just can click Boom Burst anytime, get a free hit off. Because, I mean, nothing even resists it like Exadrill wants to keep switching into that. And Boom Burst hits hard. Okay, so it goes back to Drill. He can click. Yeah, he can't break um the Earthquake, even at plus two. Because if Tangrowth is carrying EQ as well, um, that's over for Exadrill. And the chip damage does really matter because he just switches out and gets regenerated. Okay, and then... Alright, so he... Well, he survived that. But, I mean, he's Life Orb, so he he can only do one more hit. He's got, like, no Wish Passes or anything like that. Iron Head. Alright, so he got rid of Tangrowth. I mean, if he wanted to, he could have easily went into Slowbro just to preserve the Tangrowth. But, I mean... It is what it is. He goes into Darm. He goes Chomp. But I mean, I think at this point it... Oh, dang. He missed the um, Icicle Crash. That was really important. But um, yeah, getting Rocks up there is pretty good. Because now he can't just keep switching in freely. But Kyodeo comes in. He goes to Slowbro. And Kyodeo can't do anything against Slowbro. At all. And then he has to go back to Weezing. But, I mean, I guess he predicted that. That's why he went to Florius. Oh, but he clicked Flip Turn. Okay, cool. And, like I said, Weezing's the only switch in. Click Sludge Bomb. But, I mean, like I said, it's a special wall. It's super tanky. So, I mean, even then, like, he doesn't want to deal with that. Oh, goes for Toxic Spikes again. Um, I personally wouldn't worry about Toxic Spikes too much just because he has um, this thing. Goes for a second layer of toxic spikes. All right, so now Weezing's gone. Um, at this point, I think it might be over because Kyodeo and Darm can't break Slowbro. Because with that re triple regenerator core, he just keeps switching in and out and just wearing wearing them down and causing them to switch out or die at this point. So, I mean, pretty solid match. Um, didn't really see any counter team. It looks like looks like everything that I saw. Seen like pretty standard, but I mean, still very solid match. And this is only week one, I think they said this was from. So, I mean, you can expect a lot of different outcomes, but got Vegas Corviknights took the win. And now I'll, I'll let it play to the end, though. But I mean, it's pretty much done. I mean, Kyodeo gets off a of probably the Scald and then he clicks Moonblast and just ends the game. Hey, Surf. And then, yeah, he ends the game there. But, um, Definitely losing his Manetric early on sucked. Um, I think definitely Toxtricity put a lot of pressure on his team, but even with the ability of having Drill, because he's got two mods that just say no to Drill. Well, really three, because he can just kind of just cycle between the three of them and just wear out his life orb. So. Definitely, I'd say Tox was probably the MVP just because, like, you can just click Boom Burst on him, even though he didn't do it the whole game. I mean, that's what definitely put the most pressure on his team the whole time. But, um, yeah, I mean, look forward to more uploads. Um, not just battles from this draft league, but battles in general. And I'll probably I'll talk to Darian, see if he's cool with it, but I'll probably leave a link to the Discord in the description. That way, if you guys want to see more than just the battles that I kind of showcase. You guys can check it out and everything. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, I mean, feel free to ask in the comments, but definitely um, hit that like button. So, I mean, the algorithm hits it and does all that funny YouTube nonsense or whatever, but that's pretty much it.